Hey there, Janet LeBlanc with Paper and Spark here and welcome to the video tutorial series for the Paper and Spark eBay seller spreadsheet. If you haven't purchased this spreadsheet, it is available for sale at paperandspark.com shop. And if you have recently purchased it, this video tutorial series is going to walk you through exactly how to use this spreadsheet step by step and hopefully answer any questions you have about it. Now in this quick video, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of how the spreadsheet will work and all the files and resources that are included for you in your purchase. Um, and then the next video will start to actually go through the step-by-step -step process of how to use it. This includes the spreadsheet file itself, which can open up in Excel, Google Sheets, or Numbers. You can use this .xls x file in any of those um, and you can use this same file for any year that you need to do your books from there's another video on how to set your date but basically you can change this to whatever year you may need to do your books for um, you can just save a new copy of it and rename for that new year and enter that date in this pink cell here your purchase also includes step-by-step -step written instructions if you prefer to read instead of listen or if you need a refresher and just want to go back and read. Um, you can access the link to the Google Doc eBay seller instructions with your purchase. At the very bottom of these written instructions, you'll see a getting started cheat sheet just to refresh you on what to do when you first open your file and a monthly bookkeeping cheat sheet, which will have just a quick checklist on what you do each month. If you forget like where to find the report and you don't feel like sitting through the videos again, you can use this monthly cheat sheet for that. Your purchase also includes access to the Accounting Accountability Club, which is a Facebook group where you can get support for any of your bookkeeping or spreadsheet questions. Um, you should have gotten a separate email after purchase with information on how to access that. If you have any questions about it, let me know. If you need to re-download your file or download the instructions or access an international version or access an updated version. Anytime you need to find your stuff, you just want to head to paperandspark.com, click on my account, and then log in with whatever email address you used at the time of purchase and click on spreadsheets. Now, if you purchase this file over on, e on Etsy instead of on paperandspark.com, you will need to email us to set up that account for you. It won't happen automatically. Unfortunately, my website and Etsy do not speak directly to each other, um, but you can email us at support at paperandspark.com with your proof of purchase information, and we can get you set up with an account here at paperandspark.com. Once you have an account here, you click on spreadsheets and you will see links for anything that you have purchased in the past. I don't have the eBay one set up yet for this video, but let's pretend this says eBay seller spreadsheet. You click on eBay seller spreadsheet. You'll see a maintenance log for any changes that have ever been made to the file. You will see a link to the written Google Doc spreadsheet instructions. Um, and you will also see the video tutorials at the bottom and then the actual files available for download will be available here as well. Um, we'll have the eBay seller spreadsheet. We will definitely start out with a UK and Canadian version. If you're located in another country and you don't see the version that you need here, um, just email us at support at paperandspark.com and we will get that set up in your account for you. Have questions about your spreadsheet as you're using it that aren't answered here in the video tutorial series or on the spreadsheet instructions, then the first place to head is the FAQ and knowledge base on paperandspark.com. Um, answers to most of your frequently asked questions will be found in here. If not, you can always contact support. The next best place to head would be the Accounting Accountability Club on Facebook. This is a great place to ask questions and you tend to get a faster response than um, emailing support. And then that is the last place to go if you need help is you can email support. Um, and that, that's really helpful if you have like a troubleshooting question, you need to send us your file to fix and you can email us at support at paperandspark.com. So let's talk about working with your new eBay seller spreadsheet file. So like I mentioned, this file can be open in Excel. That works whether you're using a Windows or Microsoft computer or a Mac. 
um, if you have Excel downloaded on it. You can use Numbers, which is the default software for spreadsheets that usually comes on an Apple computer. Or you can upload it into Google Sheets. And I do have separate instructions for using Google Sheets and for using Numbers. Just a few little things about how to use those. So make sure you check out those videos if needed. I will be showing you how to use the spreadsheet in Excel. So don't be thrown off if you're using something different or if for any reason your spreadsheet software or file looks slightly different than this. It, it may look a little bit different, but it will work basically the same way. So don't, don't be worried about that. Two commonly used terms that you may hear me say that I want to make sure you know. Um, I may refer to tabs, and tabs are these color-coded little guys along the bottom down here. You click on a tab, it will take you to that specific worksheet on that tab. Um, don't be alarmed if your tabs are across the top. It will do that in both numbers and Google Sheets, and if you're working in numbers, you won't see the pretty colors. Unfortunately, I think they will all be gray. Um, but those are what tabs are. If you're working in a smaller window, you may not even be able to see all of the tabs um, on the most right hand side. So you will need to use these little arrow guys to scroll to see them all. That's totally fine if you're not able to make your window bigger. Another important term are rows. So these little horizontal um, collection of data here are rows and these are the row numbers um, so you may hear me refer to going to a specific row sometimes or data populating on a certain row um, and then vertically we've got our columns the columns are usually sorted by month but those are rows columns and these guys down here are tabs as far as this spreadsheet file itself goes, we have the monthly summary tab here, the first tab all the way on the left. This is the heart and soul of your eBay seller spreadsheet. So all of these color coded rows correspond to different tabs and these tabs are where you are entering some of your business expenses, some of your business transactions. Anything that you enter on these tabs should travel as a monthly sum over to the applicable place on your monthly summary tab. You will be able to quickly import in data from eBay each month by copying and pasting your CSV over here onto the applicable monthly light blue tab. So I'll show you how to do that. We'll import in and then the data will transfer over here to these light blue rows on your monthly summary tab. We'll cover all of these things in depth, but that's a general overview of how this monthly summary tab is going to work. Um, it's broken up by revenue and then expense sections. I'll make it smaller again. So revenue is where you'll either be importing in or manually entering in all of your sales. Your expense sections are broken up into three areas. We have selling expenses, product expenses, and business expenses. There's several spots on the monthly summary tab where you can um, customize the row title. So if I sell somewhere else and I want to enter like craft show sales here, I can type over that and rename that custom income row to be whatever I want it to be. Same thing works for expenses. You know, I'm just making up stuff here. Um, but you can rename these. Generally, anytime you have a colored row that is importing from another place, either the import tabs or the expense tabs. And that means that there's usually a built-in formula there that you don't want to override. Depending on your spreadsheet software, that cell may be locked, which is fine. It's just protecting you from accidentally deleting the formula. Um, if you're using Numbers or Google Sheets, it may not be locked. So just be careful when you enter any data on here. You really only want to enter data on any of the white rows that don't have built-in formulas for you already. Anything else should be entered on another tab and travel over here. Next, we have two different tabs to help you deal with sales tax. This blue sales tax tab is gonna total up your sales and sales tax collected for specific states in case you need this information for your sales tax forms. And then this orange tab will tell you the volume of your sales, both by number of transactions and dollar value, 
to each state in case you need this for economic nex nexus purposes. I have more in-depth information on this in future videos and in the written instructions. Finally, we have this budget tab here where if you want to, you can set a budget for whatever different expenses you want to within your business and it'll track the actual spending based on what is showing up here to the amount that you budgeted. And I have a separate video on this guy later as well. Everything that I've touched on here will be explained in depth in the video tutorial series and really the main benefit of using this file and going through the instructions is that you're not just going to be going through the motions. You're going to understand really how to keep your books, why to keep your books, what those numbers actually mean for you as a business owner. Uh, it's going to be a very empowering process. Take it step by step. Uh, numbers and spreadsheets and money and finances don't always come naturally to us. But going through these instructions step by step and learning how to actually use this file and understand your financial situation is going to help you feel more confident as a business owner and you're going to feel a lot better at tax time um, that you have your bookkeeping under control and you understand what's going on with your business. So let's dive in.